Another month, another stupidly overambitious TBR. Hey everyone, it's Rose and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be my April TBR, so I'm going to take you through all the books I want to read this month. I spontaneously decided to do the 30 books in 30 days challenge. This will be my third year doing it and every year it gets earlier on in the year because I have so much fun doing it. I can't wait the full 12 months. 21 books here that I'm going to show you guys. Like I said, 30 books this month so although 21 is a really high number I'm aiming to read more than that definitely not going to completely stick to this TBR but I think we have a good chance at getting a good chunk of this done because a lot of the books I picked are short books on my TBR fast-paced books books I think I'm gonna love and get through really quickly and without further ado let's get on and I'll show you all the books first up we have the sinners duet by Sophie Lark there are no saints and there is no devil I actually just finished this book it's my book one um for April and I rated it 4.5 stars it's amazing so we've already got one down off the TBR I'm filming this video a bit late and then we have there is an devil which is going to be my next read it is the continuation of the sinners duet this is a dark stalker serial killer romance it's a dark romance he is a serial killer and also a stalker <laughs> Move on to a lighter note. I have some young adult books in here. We have Check and Mate by Ali Hazelwood. Can't believe I haven't read this yet. Um, I absolutely love Ali Hazelwood's books and I thought this was the perfect month to read one because I always read them so fast and I always enjoy them. Next we have Perfect on Paper by Sophie Gonzalez. This is in my um, five star predictions video. I just think I'm going to love this so much. I am going to go into it. All I know is I think it's a love triangle between if she's going to pick the guy or the girl. Um, he's the new boy in school and she's her best friend. But it might be more. I don't really know too much, but I've seen amazing things. And then we have Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Acute by Talia Hibbert. This is on my 24 books to read in 2024. Um, this is young adult rom-com. I think it's got OCD representation and they go camping for a school trip. I think, I don't completely know, but I think it's gonna be really fun and fast paced, which is exactly what I need for this challenge. I really ordered these into genres. But I guess we can try now. As far as I'm aware, all of the next books are contemporary romances. Obviously, I haven't read them, so they might not be. We have Mr. Wrong Number and The Love Wager, both by Lynn Painter. This is book one and two in the... I think the series is just called Mr. Wrong Number, but I'm not sure. Look how cute these covers are. Um, I've had amazing things from Lynn Painter. I don't think I've actually read anything from her, but I'm going to start with... These two. I think they're both closed door romances. Don't quote me on that because I obviously haven't read them yet. And I've heard they are super, super funny. And we have The Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren. I can't believe I haven't read this yet. It's been sitting on my TBR for so long and it's so popular. I can't believe I haven't got to it. But I'm super excited to finally, hopefully, read it. We have Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. Um, I picked this because of how short it looks. Is this the book that people say is exactly the same as Love and Other Words? Because I rated that book three stars, which is why I haven't picked this one up sooner. Because I don't know if I'm going to like it or not, but I think I'm going to be able to get through it quickly, which is why it's on this TBR, just keeping it real. Then we have The Intimacy Experiment by Rosie Darnan, sequel to The Roommate by Rosie Darnan, which I read in my first ever 31 Books in 31 Days video on TikTok. Like, <laughs> are we two years ago soon it's not quite been two years but um yeah i'm super excited to get to this we have a lucy score book which is one of her shorter ones i'm pretty sure it's still like over 400 pages but they are always i always get through them so quick even though they are so long we have the worst best man by lucy score i don't know anything about it other than i assume it's a best man at a wedding and she doesn't like him I don't know. Love Had a Price and If We Were Perfect, both by Anna Huang. Um, these are book three and four in the If Love series. I rated the first two both two stars, but I want to get this series done. And at this point, I think I'll be able to push through them just because I'm determined to finish it. I really hope these two are better, but 
I don't really have high hopes. They are short though, which is why they're on this monthly TBR. Three dark romance books. I think this is a dark fantasy romance. This is Gothicana by Runix. Um, I absolutely, I'm so excited to read this. I know nothing about it and I don't know how I know nothing about it because it was so popular and then it was traditionally published. I wanna go in blind. I am super excited to see what this is about. Then I have a short book which I'm saving for a day that I'm really busy or a day that I just don't feel like reading much. We have The Dare by Harley LaRue. This is the sequel to The Loser's Duet, I think. I know absolutely nothing about this book. I'm going into it blind. I'm expecting crazy things. And then we have Sick Fucks by Tilly Cole. This is a dark romance. I don't know much about this book. Um, it's quite short like 350 pages and the writing's quite big so I put it on this TBR that's all I know about it then we have two thrillers and then we have three more books that are kind of they don't really have a genre I don't really know what the genre is we have The Last Housewife by Ashley Winstead this is on Kindle Unlimited so I'm probably going to read it on my Kindle I'm going to save it for a day where I need my Kindle um I really liked In My Dreams I Hold a Nice by this author I don't know anything about this book but Okay, it says there's a cult on the back, and that's all I need to know. I'm super excited for this one. We have Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. This is a short book. I've heard it's crazy. All the reviews, they don't explain what this is about. They just say, like, this was insane. What did I just read? And it scared me, which is why I haven't read it yet, but now it's starting to intrigue me. So it's on my April DBR. We're nearly done, I promise. We've got three more books and I don't really know what genres they fit into. The first one is One Italian Summer by Rebecca Searle. Purely picked this because it's short. It's like 270 pages, I think. Oh, 250, even shorter. Um, no, nothing. I'm excited though. Then of course we have a Stephen King book. I couldn't know. I'm in a Stephen King binge at the moment. And this is Christine by Stephen King. Uh, this is a really long one, so I'm probably gonna read this like when I'm ahead a day or two or something. I'm being really ambitious about being able to get ahead, but I have the audiobook for this one, so I might listen to it over a couple days. I'm not gonna be able to do that in one day, but hopefully we'll get it done this month anyway. And then the last book on my April DBR, oh my god, I'm so overly ambitious. This is Bunny by Mona Award. I've heard this is kind of horror. There's a cult where they call each other bunny, and I think there's like witchcraft in it, but I don't know if it's like magical. It's also on Kindle Unlimited, so if I ever need to get on my Kindle, I can pick this one up. And there we go, that is my really, really crazily, I know, even for me, overly ambitious April TBR. I am not going to be filming vlogs for every single day of the 30 books in 30 days challenge. There will be daily posts on TikTok where I vlog my days but for YouTube I thought this time round instead of doing three lots of 10 books in 10 days videos I would do throughout the month 24 hour readathon reading this genre for a week and try and kind of get a lot of reading done by doing different challenges and filming that for you guys so let me know if there's any ambitious challenges that you want me to do for like a week will help me read a lot of books and maybe I can film that for you guys but that's all from me I hope you have a lovely day please be sure to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and if you'd like to see how I get on with this challenge like I said I did vlog it last year so if you want to check those videos out there's a playlist on my channel um but that's all from me I'll see you in another video bye